priest going on and I'm like, wait a minute, did I not get the memo? Why am I not doing this? What's going on? So for 2016, to ring in the new year, why not try something new? If you're like me and you like to try something new, take your time, practice, maybe practice like a day before New Year's Eve and then execute your look and go out and have fun. Who knows, maybe you will find the love of your life that night or maybe you will find your soulmate or maybe you'll find your best friend or some, something, something amazing is going to happen to you on New Year's Eve. So why not just look, you know, all dolled up and ready for whatever's gonna happen in your life to happen to you that day. It's in Lancome Bisque and Benefit Moonbeam. I'll add you guys basically in the back of my hand. Take some of my foundation. Like so. Taking my artist brush, round number eight. And I just mix the two together. Just using my sheer cover. And this is in medium tan. Adding my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer. I'm going to set my concealer and what I'm going to be using is my Kat Von D Shade and Light guys. OMG, I can't say enough. If you want to hear a little bit more about it, watch the video before this one. Using my brush by Real Technique, I'm just going to go ahead and use these two colors. And of course, you just let it bake do its thing. And while it's doing its thing, all you have to do is just start with the eyes. So whatever fallout you have, they sit right on the top. So when you take that layer off, you have those stains. So now to create the famous Instagram double wing look for 2016. You ready to ring in the new year? Because I am. So first thing first, using Soft Ochre by MAC, slide it to your lid. All this does is basically just even the tone of your skin. Like my lids are darker. Next step is to set your self ochre using a bone color shadow. Going into my e.l.f. beauty must have eyeshadow book and this is called classic. Using a flat brush, I'm gonna be using that premierish color. And now I'm gonna outline my lid. Next, going in using the same flat brush, going into my NYX 10 color eyeshadow. This is a runway collection. I'm gonna be using this deep brown right here. Taking that right above the line that we just created. Using my Morphe M507, I'm gonna go ahead and soften that line. Next, going in with a little brush, spraying it with MAC Fix Plus. Going into Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and using the color Verve. And just to define that line up top, because once I added that color, it kind of faded out. I'm gonna go ahead, going back into my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette using the same flat brush, using Blackout. Using the same Morphe brush, I'm gonna soften that. Going back with the same flat brush, going back into blackout. I'm gonna now apply that to the outer half of my, well, the outer V specifically. Next, spraying my detailer brush by Real Technique. Going back into my Naked 2 palette using the color Chopper, this beautiful color right here. Now I'm gonna add that right to the middle of the lid. Using my Real Technique brush, Pixel Point Eyeliner brush. It's wearing off, so I really had to like take a look in there. <laughs> and using T's to the inner corner of my eye. Next for my favorite, favorite part, I'm gonna be using Hard Candy. This is their Poppin' Pigments. They don't have like names on it, like what they're called. It's just two colors, two different colors that came in the set. One has a goldish tone to it and the other one has a pinkish tone to it. Using any brush to pick up the glitter, I'm going to take the gold one and applying that to the outer half of my eye. Following that with the pinkish tone glitter, adding that to the inner half of my eye. That we have it, but I'm looking at it right now. And the other line that I placed in initially, the chopper from Urban Decay 2 palette actually covered it up, so I have a solution for that. Using a clean flat brush, going back into my e.l.f. palette 
And now using this color right here, that should make it stand out. So now the issue's fixed. And moving on to my cheek. So to bronze up my cheeks, what I'm gonna be doing is using Bahama Mama, this is by The Bone. I'm using my e.l.f. brush. Next, using Milani, this is Luminoso. I love this color, guys. And now I'm applying it where I apply Bahama Mama and a little bit to the temples. So now for my lower lash, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush C. And going back into the same runway collection by NYX, I'm going to take the brown, the same brown that I used earlier, and applying that to my lower lash. And since I love the color that I added from the e.l.f. palette, I'm going to go ahead using my small shader brush, going back into that color. I'm going to go ahead and add that to the bottom. That basically just makes my look cohesive, and I love that. For highlight today, I'm going to be using e.l.f. Baked Highlighter. This is in Moonlight Pearls. Look at that color, guys. This is my Morphe E27. And now on to the lips, just to complete the whole look. Adding Matte Naked. This is by Milani. Just to add a little pop of color, I'm going to be using NYX Liquid Suede, and this is Sway. There's the look, guys. 